Yo, what is happening? My name is Abden, and welcome back to a brand new video. And today, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about the new super secret colored paintings in Lumber Tycoon 2. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. <laughs> So regular pixelated paintings look like this. You just open them up and they open up to this from the gift of pixelation. So how did I get all of these different colors of pixelated paintings? Well, that's what I'm going to be explaining as well as kind of the history behind all of these paintings. So as of right now, you can still get the pixelated paintings from the Fine Arts Shop. Now this won't be the case for much longer, but as of right now, you can. You can see that there is a total of 22 painting gifts in the shop right now, but there actually used to be 23. Basically, on the 24th of December, we got a huge surprise. One of the gifts from the Fine Arts Shop basically suddenly disappeared from the shop before the rest rest of them and that is super strange that has pretty much never happened as far as I'm aware now this could possibly have been explained by that gift just being a different version of the rest of them that defaultio accidentally set to go off sale at the wrong time and indeed, Electro Technologies actually made a video on this gift before this happened because there was a little clue that this present was different in its description. All of the other gifts descriptions contained one question mark, whereas this one contained two. While this might not seem like a big deal to most regular players, if you know a little bit about how the game's code works, it's actually very strange because the fact that there was a different description meant that Defaultia would have had to add a completely separate gift into the game that looks identical to all the other ones except for this one small description change. And indeed, this is exactly what exploiters were finding when they looked at the game files. There was a completely separate gift with the name almost identical to the other, but with an O at the end. So yeah, that basically confirmed that there was a completely different version of the exact same gift in the fine arts shop, which would absolutely explain why it went off sale earlier than all of the rest of them, and it suggested that its early disappearance from the fine arts shop was just a mere mistake from Defaultio accidentally putting its off sale date in wrong in the game files. But that still doesn't answer why there was a special version of this gift that was virtually identical to the other gifts in the store in the first place. Now, originally, this special version of the gift was just thought to maybe be a shortcut that Defaultio took when applying the retextures to the gift that me and Electro submitted to him. Like, possibly it was just easier for him to add an entirely new gift into the files than to edit the existing one, especially since our gift submission was pre-configured to be ready for its addition in the game, whereas changing the existing gift would have required either deleting the old one from the files, which it was entirely possible he just simply forgot to do, or he would have had to take all of the new data and copy it to the old one one by one, including adding the new model to the gift file, changing the description and price, etc. So yes, it was entirely possible that this was just related to our retexture, especially since the new special version was discovered in the game files after our retexture was submitted. What started to not make much sense though was that both gifts were actually identical in their textures, meaning both gifts had the same updated texture, and with each change Defaultio made to the new gift, he actually updated the other gift as well, which meant that this was definitely not just some strange shortcut that Defaultio was making, it was actually completely intentional. This special gift version was all part of Defaultio's plan. Now, it definitely took a while for the community to figure out that this alternative gift version was actually being sold in the store, but eventually people got wind of it and a few smart people decided to stock up on it, likely because of Electro's video, which was uploaded not too far before its removal in the shop, literally like a matter of hours. Fast forward to Christmas Day, December 25th, 2023. 
Everyone has opened their gifts in Lumber Tycoon and they found that the alternative version opened up to be completely identical to the other ones. So it was all for nothing, right? 26th of December 2023, the game gets an update. Those who were lucky enough to get a few before they were gone opened their special version of the pixelated gift to find that the box was still the same, but upon opening it, the decal on the painting had turned to be shifted to a random color 3 value. Now either the colors are completely random or the color changes come at increments. Or in other words, the color of the painting is selected from a list of random color values. Currently, I can't say for sure, but from what I've observed, it seems like they can be pretty much any color, especially considering that it would be probably a lot easier for Defaultio to just pick a random color. Currently, I definitely think that it is completely random and it's not selected from increments because, as you can see from this base that TAP, aka Purtra, has set up, you can see that all of these paintings, I mean, I, I don't see any ones that are completely identical. There's always like one slight difference in maybe the color of the wood or whatever. So yeah, to me, it seems like this is all based on a math.random color rather than the vehicles where you have a set list of colors that each car can be. But yeah, guys, since it is no longer available in the store, I think intentionally Defaultio did that it's just so that people won't be able to get it after they realize that it's super special, um, you're going to have to buy it off of other players. So you're going to have to go around looking for people that actually have these. Now it's much more wise to go on to a Discord server, so I'll link a few in the description down below in case you want to join those, because on Discord servers you are much more likely to find what you're looking for in terms of trading. Uh, one little reminder is that you have to be over the age of 13 in order to join Discord. So yeah, um, I would definitely recommend getting on a Discord server because you can find trades a lot easier there. There's a lot of people right now that really want them though, so you might have to pay quite a bit. They'll probably go down in price as more go into circulation, as more are duped as well. So if you're not too concerned about getting one right now, you can also wait a little bit for them to decrease in price. However, there is currently no way to tell a gift that was that's just normal apart from a special gift, unfortunately, so uh, it's probably safer to just buy ones that are already unboxed if you want the special color. You can't tell these gifts apart, of course, because when you go to open the gift, you can't actually check them. Um, currently, that's the case. I don't know if that's going to be fixed in the future or not, but yeah, you can't check something when you have the option to open it, unfortunately, so there isn't really a way to figure out if you're going to get scammed if you buy one of these before it is colorized, because of course you can't see the extra question mark in the description if there is no description to see, because again, they are completely identical. Now, I don't know what's going to change in the future. Defaultio could make the special gift a little bit easier to tell apart from a normal gift, like he might retexture it or something. So make sure you go in the comments down below, check the pinned comment and see if there is anything that has changed because I don't know yet, it's too early to tell. So if something does change, I can quickly update the pinned comment down below in the comments and that can show you what the current status is on these paintings. But anyways, let's go ahead and open all of these. These are all of the special gifts. These were kindly donated to me by by the tap slash Patra guy that was from earlier that I showed you his base. Um, but yeah, all of these are the special gifts. I didn't actually get these special gifts when they were on sale because I didn't know. I mean, I, I did know, but I was out of town when I did know, so I couldn't actually get to my computer. But yeah, guys, you can see there is so many different amazing colors that you can get. So far, we've gotten blue, pink, and green, but they can be pretty much any color, it seems like. 
So yeah, that's a mix between red and pink right there. These are super cool. Yeah, you can see, I mean, some of them, the bark is very dark or almost black even, but in others, they're not, but they're the exact same color, which shows me that they're definitely not incremental because why would there be that many increments for the colors? I don't know. But yeah, then there's these ones that look almost the exact same, but it kind of seems like the leaves on this one are a little bit more yellow than these ones. But I don't know. I mean, it could just be the exact same color. That one seems to be a darker blue than this one over here. Yeah, you can definitely see this one's very dark. And let's go ahead and open the last one, see what we get. We get kind of an orangish yellow one over here. So yeah, very cool, very awesome that we got some secret gifts. Over here we just have a bunch of the regular ones that are just by default the white color value. But yeah, that is it for the new special paintings. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Looks like we got a few blue spruce over there in the distance, which I'll have to go ahead and get. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Video, and I'll see you in the next video once it's out. See ya!